another amazing week for AI. This article provides an overview of recent developments in AI, including new tools and technologies, legal challenges, and the impact of AI in various industries. Let's listen in. So in the world of AI, there have been some exciting developments recently. One of the big players, OpenAI, has released the Codex Interpreter for their ChatGPT Plus members. This allows users to generate code and analyze data, and it's already being used for things like creating video games and detecting faces in images. Absolutely. And while OpenAI is making strides, they're also facing some legal challenges. Sarah Silverman and other authors have filed a lawsuit against OpenAI and Meta, accusing them of using their books without permission to train AI models. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Moving on to image generation, there is a new technology called Stable Diffusion XL 1.0 that is being tested in the Stable Diffusion Discord. It uses a voting system on image pairs to generate high quality images. This could have some really cool applications in the future. Definitely. And another company called Anthropic has released Claude 2 into open beta. It's an AI model that can analyze uploaded files like CSVs and PDFs, expanding the possibilities of AI and data analysis. And the best part is, it's free to use in the US and UK. In terms of everyday productivity tools, Google has announced Notebook LM. This tool can turn Google Drive files into a conversational searchable database, making it even easier to find information and collaborate. And in the realm of video generation, Pigalets has developed an image to video generator that brings still images to life based on text prompts. This shows how AI is starting to play a bigger role in multimedia content creation. That's not all. Epidemic Sound has launched SoundMatch, a tool that suggests background music by analyzing video clips. It really enhances the audio visual experience and shows the potential of AI in this area. In the broader discussion of AI's impact, Bill Gates has written an article where he discusses the risks and benefits of AI. He emphasizes the need for caution and optimism as we navigate the future of this technology. And speaking of the future, there's a mysterious project called XAI that Elon Musk is involved in. We don't have many details, but knowing Musk's involvement and his focus on AI, it's safe to say there are exciting developments on the horizon. Finally, in the e-commerce sector, Shopify has launched an AI assistant feature to help merchants with tasks like sales analysis, promotions, and content generation. This really highlights how AI is becoming more integrated into business operations. Absolutely. And let's not forget about Google Bard, which has received updates like multilingual support, text-to-speech capabilities, pinned conversations, and code exporting. These improvements make it even more user-friendly. And lastly, Leonardo AI has added Stable Diffusion XL and an upgraded prompt magic to generate high-quality images. It's amazing to see the ongoing advancements in AI-driven image generation. That's it for today. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you next time. As you must have heard, this week was really packed. From now, mostly all language models like ChatGPT, Bard, and Claude 2, all of them have eyes. So basically they can see images and PDFs and all that too. Video generating AI getting so much more better. I know I just told that like two months ago, but it just got so much more better this week. <laughs> I hope you like today's podcast. And yeah, you're watching fully airport podcast. AI takes the mic. <laughs> Hope to see you next week soon if I upload a video if AI helps me do it. Anyways, bye. <laughs>